My name is Carole Notary. I'm technical manager at Fujifilm Specialty Ink Systems, where I have responsibility for inkjet ink development within the R&D function. I've been with the company for 17 years, and for the past 15 years or so, I've been involved in the design of inkjet inks. Today, I would like to talk to you about the benefits of UV for inkjet printing and the different types of UV systems used in inkjet printers today. There are different types of UV curing technologies available, both from an ink chemistry point of view and from a, a type of UV lamp perspective. From the ink chemistry side, there are two generic uh, chemistries that can be used that are generally referred to as radical and cationic curing. At Fujifilm, we focus on the radical uh, curing chemistry because it provides the widest range of application uh, features and therefore gives us a widest application latitude. From the lamp uh, perspective, there are two types of lamps that are typically used in UV inkjet printers, mercury vapor lamps and light emitting diodes or LEDs. Uh, the main difference between those two types of lamps is that mercury vapor lamps emit light over a very wide wavelength region which allow us to fully capitalize on the reactivity of the ink components in the system and therefore maximize the cure speed and productivity of the ink. In contrast, LEDs emit light in a much narrower wavelength region. In effect, they are a monochromatic system. And this means that we are uh, more limited with the level of reactivity that can be produced out of an LED system. Of course, LEDs have many advantages over mercury lamps. For example, they have much longer lifetime, they generate much less heat, and they are typically also more energy efficient and more environmentally friendly. Therefore, LEDs can be a very good solution depending on the type of system and the type of application. And this is why at Fujifilm we have invested a lot of R&D effort to develop differentiated and advanced LED technology to accelerate the penetration of LEDs in inkjet printing. We also have to consider the limitations of LEDs, in, in particular the limitations associated with its narrow emission output, which limit the reactivity of the ink system. And therefore, uh, we prefer to use a mercury vapor lamp in onset equipment so that we don't compromise on the productivity and the ink performance features which remain our number one priority. Of course, things may change in the future as more and more advances are made in LED lamp technology, but right now LEDs are more suited to lower productivity equipment rather than high productivity and high performance systems such as onset 